What's going on boys, it's your boy, Donnie boy, today back in the reaction video, we're gonna react to Goblin by Tyler the Critter. Honestly, it's been a minute since I've heard, um, or I've reacted to another Tyler album. Like, I reacted to Cherry Bomb about six months ago or seven months ago, and we're kind of just moving backwards from, like, the albums I haven't heard. I've heard all of his albums, basically, except Goblin and, uh, Bastard. Yeah, I already know that this album is, like, really creepy and really, like, dark. Like, it's, it's one of his darker projects. I'm pretty sure Bastard's his worst one, but, like, Goblin is, like second worst i guess i don't really know also if you see back there i actually own goblin on vinyl so i'm like kind of a poser for like buying the vinyl and haven't heard it yet call me all you want i don't really care like all my vinyls i've heard every album except goblin like i bought Goblin without listening to it but yeah uh i don't really know like, like i said um i'm kind of excited i kind of want to hear the uh the creepy tone i guess i don't really know like i, li I kind of like dark music if that makes sense but yeah let's get into it first song we got goblin and it's a six minute song damn like a narrator just like wolf and cherry bomb i'm pretty sure this narrator is a um what do you call it <clears throat> he's like a therapist i'm pretty sure as you should i like the beat the beat's really dark it's like it's like really like just like grimy i like that What? You still let me bust one in their mouth. This is back when, like, I'm pretty sure this is way back when, like, Tyler was, like, really under some controversy. Like, everyone's like, oh, Tyler's so edgy and so, uh, like, well, his music sucks, his music's terrible. Like, I'm pretty sure this is, like, that around that time. Not the F slur. It's funny how they try to cancel him. I'm pretty sure a while back they tried to cancel him for saying that word, like saying the F word and shit, even though he's literally bi. Like, he's literally bi. Like, how, how you can't be, like, homophobic when you're literally bi. You get what I'm saying? It's goofy. So my dick was hurting. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Now that was cool. I like that. I like that whole intro. That didn't feel like six minutes at all. That went. That went by pretty fast. But yeah, I've heard Yonkers. It's a banger. I'm a fucking walking pair. What? What do you say? He said random. What? He says, "Fuck, it's fucking fiction." What? I don't think I've ever heard like an aggressive song like that before. This shit's like he's like screaming on that shit. Wait, what do you say? What is he saying? Is he saying kill people? Kill people, burn shit, fuck school. That's fucking crazy. I like the synths, like, that's, like, my favorite thing all so far, like, I like, I really like the creepy synths, like, the creepy, like, the eerie, like, 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 especially on She, like, that shit is great, I'm not gonna lie. That's so funny, he had to, he had to have a disclaimer on the front of the song. What did he say that for? He said, he said, hey, mom, in the background. This is a seven minute song. Like I said, I don't think I've ever heard like Tyler like scream rap. Not scream, but like he's like yelling. Like I've never heard his like yelling rap before. Is he gonna switch up? Is the beat gonna switch? Ooh. I knew it, was, it had to switch up. It had to have. Like it couldn't. It couldn't have had the same exact thing the whole time. Like it couldn't have. Is he like letting go of like the bad thoughts? Is that what it means? Ooh, what? Honestly, so far, this is like low key better than Cherry Bomb. Like, so far. Over these like three or two, three. Three technically because of Yonkers, but like the two songs I've heard, like honestly, I like a lot better than Gob or than Goblin, than Cherry Bomb. Like, Cherry Bomb is a lot more just like just random shit happening. I feel like this is more organized, it sounds like. It's following a theme. Rubbers in these denim pockets. I could sing this whole song word for word, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, she's a banger. She's a such a good fucking song. Meaning, the meaning's bad, 
but it's a fucking banger. But I'm not gonna like, I can't like listen to it. Like, I want to react to a song that I've already heard. So we're gonna move on to uh, track five, which is Transylvania. Hmm. <laughs> I, I kind of like that. That was kind of funny. I kind of like that. Miss Piggy by the motherfuckers hairs of her chinny chin chin. I'm Dracula, bitch. What? Especially when they only suck dick and wash dishes? Damn. That's low-key terrible, I'm not gonna lie. This song's- I don't know, it's like- it's like alright, I don't know. It's like aggressive, but it's like media- it's like- it's like mundane. It's kinda of just like, eh, I don't know. Golf Wang. I don't know. Overall, like, the song's pretty, like, the song's pretty, just like, mid tier, in my opinion. But uh, next we got Nightmare. So is the whole album about, like, him talking to his therapist? Like, is that what the, the album's about? Like, him just, like, venting all the shit to his therapist? Hmm. I like the plinky instrumentals. That's cool. I like the little, like, plinky, like, ding dong ding dong. She's Taylor Swift. Yo, I want to read the lyrics, right? But like the pink is so bright, it's like fucking killing my eyes. Like I want to read the lyrics. I fuck with this beat though, I'm not gonna lie. I fuck with this beat. This is Loki crazy. This is cool though, honestly. I, I like the I like the storytelling a lot. I really like the venting the venting storytelling going on. It's so weird to like listen to this and like hear his like new shit like Flower Boy for example. Like this is so different from Flower Boy. Like obviously, like duh. But like I don't know, like that growth is crazy. Oh, that was a cool transition. Ooh. Is it like a happy song or something? Put the lyrics on for this. With no permission? This is- okay, I wasn't expecting this. This is kind of crazy. This is like- this is like- I like the- the creepy, like, production with this. This is like- this is like eerie-ass production going on. My fifth one. Bro, what? Run that shit back. Hold on, what? Honey, I'm not topping when I stuff you in my system. What? This is fucking nuts, bro. This is fucking nuts. This like literally makes me uncomfortable, like listening to this. Like um, this is like this is, I've never listened to a song that made me like uncomfortable. Like he's talking about like killing like girls and shit, killing ladies and like killing girls and like chopping their heads off and shit. Like it's fucking crazy, bro. This is nuts. They're like voice in the back and they're like la la la. That shit is so like why is that even in the song? Like that shit just adds such a weird element to the song. The beat like matches the vibe. Like the beat literally matches the vibe. This is crazy. In the attic taking photos of my dad's dick? Oh, what the fuck? What is this beat? That beat is weird as fuck. Next time we got her. That was crazy, honestly. That was probably the, the, the most insane Tyler song I've ever heard in my life. Like, that's, like, by far, like, probably, like, the worst or, like, the most creepiest, like, the darkest Tyler song I've ever heard, honestly. And they said, they said Bastard's Worse? Bro, what? Is this, like, a play on, like, she? Because, like, I remember he was, like, like, last night I slept over hers. During sex I overheard. Is this, like, talking about her? Is that, like, the you know, song like, the song's called Her? I don't know. Hmm. 
a creepy, this creepy sense, man. I don't fuck with it. Or I fuck with it, but like, I know it's gonna be creepy. Not being a Richard up when he's beating his meat. <laughs> what am I listening to? Damn. That's tough. That beat's cool. I, I love those scents, bro. I love the scents so much. Like, I, I, I've pressed it like 20 times, but like, I love the scents. Like, the creepy, like, scents. Perfect. It's like a perfect vibe. Ew. Ooh, the beat's like, the beat said, ring, 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 ring. That's tough. Alright, next song we got. That was a that was a creepy song. I kinda like the storytelling though. Like he he likes his girl and he find out that she's like fucking a bunch of dudes and now he's just like fuck. That's tough, I guess. I don't know. I like the meaning of that song. That was kinda cool. It's kinda it's pretty dark though. I mean it wasn't about killing though. It wasn't like it was more of just like a incel kind of song, like damn. I can't get the girl, I'm just gonna go home and jack off, like kind of thing. Next song we got sandwiches. Um this is this is I think the lead single of the album, I'm pretty sure. Like this song came out first before Goblin. I'm not really sure, but I actually haven't heard this yet. They are them. That feel, those scents are crazy. It's like a bee. It's like a mosquito in my fucking ear. I did. What? Like Ellen DeGeneres' clitoris is playing with my dick? Bro, what? <laughs> That's gonna be the most random shit I've ever heard. This is weird. I honestly think that the beat could go like a little harder. I don't know. That's like my only gripe. Like, I wish there's more to the beat. Who's that? Oh, it's Haji. Ew. Pimple. Why, why pimple covered? That song kind of dragged on for me. That felt a lot longer than five minutes, I'm not gonna lie. But um, I think I think the beat was kind of mediocre. But I think the um, the energy is pretty good. I like the energy. Um, next we got. Uh, I'm about to read the lyrics. Next we got fish. Is he talking about like drugging a girl? Is that what he's talking about? I like the piano beat. That's kind of creepy. I don't know. Like, that piano beat's low-key weird. Hmm. This is a six-minute song, bro. There's so... Why is there so many long songs in this album? Ew. Ejaculating. <laughs> Wait, Frank Ocean? What? It doesn't say he's on the song. I love surprise features like that. I love that shit. I did not know he was on the song. That boy got the that boy got the voice of an angel. I can't even lie. I like this part. I like this beat. This beat's really cool. I ain't gonna lie. I like the like the don 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 like I love that. It's like it's like beautiful but also like creepy as fuck at the same time. It's such a weird song. Just silence. Oh. <laughs> what? The beat just switches up. I was not expecting this kind of B switch. I thought I was gonna have the same thing the whole song. I'm not gonna lie. You said walking man as a come rag? Are you sick? She a bopping bitch. What does that mean, bopping bitch? Why? Why was that necessary? Don't get hurt. She's gonna bite your dick. That was a weird song. I'm not gonna lie. That was a weird ass song. I don't even know what to say to that. That was that was so like sporadic. I don't even know. 
I do like the B switch. I like that B switch. That B switch is cool. Well, there was no transition, but like you know, what I'm talking about. I, I think the B switch is cool and the flow switch. But next one we got analog with Haji. I like the beat. You say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. My little lake. That wasn't she. I'm pretty sure he's talking about meet me by the lake around ten. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh. That beat is so fucking crazy. This is by far though like the darkest album I've ever heard, honestly. Like by far. The darkest album I've ever heard, honestly. The fuck is a concubine. Hmm. So this is like a this is a playoff of her or not her, she, when he was like, Meet me by the lake around ten, we skinny dipping in vain, we can pretend that pretend ten game. Like you know that that like that part? I didn't realize that like there's a whole song of that part. I actually never knew that. That's kinda cool though, I like that. It's pretty creepy. Ew, what was that? Wait, is this the end of the album? Oh, it isn't. Oh, we have like four more songs. Next one we got B S D. This has Jasper Dolphin. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This got Jasper Dolphin and Taco. I don't know who the fuck Taco is. What? This reminds me of like sandwiches, like it's kind of just like really gross, like just like, like, like the production everything is just so gross, it's like, I don't know, it's like, it's like not really, I don't know, not really pleasing to hear, you know what I'm talking about? Was Earl, was Earl Sweatshirt in jail or some shit? Like why is he saying free Earl? Is, was he in jail at this time? Like I don't even know. Oh, this part sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't, I don't know how to beat. Like the the grimy voice, like the beat, everything about that just sucks. Like the hook sucks. That's not like the that's not like the beginning of Blonde, like that when it goes into pink and white or pink and white, red and white, right? Is it pink and white? No, it's pink and white. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. <laughs> Oh, he just killed him. He just killed him in the studio. No, that song was Loki, like, I don't know. It wasn't, like, my cup of tea. That reminded me of, um, I think it was Sandwiches. That was the the annoying one. Yeah, Sandwiches and, uh, BSD are for sure, like, the most annoying. Like, I hate the, I hate the gross, like, it's just, like, bad. It's just bad, like, Loki. But, um, next we got Window. This is the eight-minute song. Bro. Wait, who the fuck's all in this song? Hold on, go back. We got Damo, Genesis, Frank Ocean, Haji, and Mike G. Damn. Is that, is that Rocky? That's not ASAP Rocky. I'm, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. I don't think ASAP Rocky and Tyler were friends in 2011. Were they? I'm, I don't even know. It's kind of like I kind of like this. It's kind of cool. It's it's very it's very toned down. I like how they're all kind of like getting their part. If that makes sense. I assume Tyler's probably gonna be last. The beat sounds like a factory. That's what it reminds me. Of. Like like it sounds like a factory. Like just like the ambience of a factory. That's what it reminds me of. Who's that? It sounds like Pharrell Williams. I think Tyler, I think uh, Frank's part is the best, Loki, so far. <coughs> Damn, I just got a boogie on my nose. Hold on. My apologies. I think Tyler has the most unique. He has like the most unique bars, like the most creative, unique bars. Like everyone else on the song is kind of like, eh. But like, I just like how creative he is. What? What the fuck? That beat is really like fitting though for like such a slow like slow paced song. Brother that killed everyone in the studio. Almost a guy. This is gonna be a hot take, but I like this album more than Wolf so far. Like I like this album more than Wolf. Like I've never really been like the biggest um, biggest fan for Wolf. Why is there no lyrics on the song? Weird. Okay. Next one we got uh, A U seventy nine. Is this just a, is it just an instrumental? Because there's no there's no lyrics. It was like an interlude. Kind of fuck with this. This is kind of cool. 
This reminds me of um the end of um Flower Boy with like what, what the fuck is that song called? Uh, I think it's enjoying it right now today. I think it's called, but that, uh, this, remi this sort of reminds me of just like an instrumental, like outro kind of thing. Ooh, it switched a little bit. Yeah, my only grab at that was that I wish it went on, like I wish it went on a little uh, shorter. Like that was kind of a drag. But um, yeah, last song on the album is Golden. Yeah, no shit. That's, that's a really cool concept, I like that. Like, the whole album is basically taking taking place inside of a, like, a therapist's office. I uh, kind of like that. It's kind of cool. Disgusting? This is good. This is, like, this is low-key perfect for an outro, I feel like. Like, it's kind of cool. Like, like the beginning of the therapist session, now it's the end of the therapist session. Kind of like that. That's cool. Wait, so is that voice, is that voice not actually a therapist? Is it, is it just in his head? Like, is that just like him fighting him, his own self or some shit? Fuck! I killed his fucking friend! <laughs> he did. I forgot he, I forgot he killed his friends in his last song, I forgot. Or the, the last two songs. He's a table? He said he's a fucking table. This is weird, this is a weird, this is a weird outro. I'm trying to like, think, I'm trying to like, process what's happening. It's kind of weird. That beat is like, that beat's creepy. That beat, bro. Holy shit. Yeah, I knew it. It was, it was a voice. It wasn't actually, it wasn't actually a therapist. It's crazy. Wait, Tron Cat's a person? He said I'm Tron Cat. Is Tron Cat a person? That's crazy. I wasn't expecting it to be so like lyrical though. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't. I was expecting it to be more like just creepy, I guess. I don't know, just creepy and just weird, but like that's I mean that's basically what it was, creepy and weird, but like I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. Like, I don't know. I'm I'm for sure gonna like re-listen and like digest this a little more. Also, there's three new there's three deluxe songs also. Or I might either react to it or I might just listen to it on my own, but uh I'm not sure what I'll do yet, honestly. Yeah, this is fucking Crazy, bro. <laughs> Especially Troncat. Like, holy shit. Troncat and uh, Fish, too. Fish was weird as hell. Yeah, I'm honestly glad I listened to this album. I'll for sure listen to Bastard. I'm going to listen to Bastard in the near future. I don't know when exactly. I'll probably just do it whenever I feel like it. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, comment down below what your favorite song on the album was. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.